Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. Over the past few weeks, I've been answering your questions that uh, will hopefully help you to achieve your health, fitness and weight loss goals before the summer. Um, last week I was talking about food cravings and how to uh, combat those. Um, so if you missed that video, then um, there's a link um, below this video um, to find out uh, how to combat your food cravings. Um, similar kind of topic this week, someone asked me about um, how to um, combat emotional eating. Um, now that's an interesting one because it's very similar really to those food cravings because um, one thing I always say is that food is, it, it, like it shouldn't be anything other than energy for your body. So think of it as in um, what you would, if you're for your car, what, what fuel you'd put in your car. Now, if your car is a petrol car, then you're going to put petrol in it and you might put the, the better unleaded uh, fuel in it to help it um, run better. Um, if your car is diesel, then you're going to put diesel in it. If you put the wrong fuel in the wrong car, then it's not going to go. It's uh, going to end up um, needing repair. Um, so that's the same as your body, really. If you put the wrong fuel in your body, i.e. the wrong kind of foods, the foods that aren't going to help your body to run efficiently, then eventually it's going to cut out, it's going to um, need repairing. So that might be that you get ill, it might be that you get tired, it might be just that your performance um, decreases if you're doing some kind of sport already, things like that. So that's why I always try and get people to think about that food is energy. So whenever anyone talks about cravings or emotional eating or um, if you are stressed or tired and eating the wrong kinds of foods, then that is, it goes back to what I was saying in my video last week, it's very much a mindset and um, a, a kind of mindful um thing that you need to be thinking about. Um, so uh, it's, it is, uh, without sounding, um, I don't want to sound patronising or anything, but it is in your head. So you do have that choice still of um, whether or not you eat the right foods or the wrong foods or how you're sort of um, managing your emotions and the stress and the tiredness and things like that and what food choices you are making as a result of that. So your emotions and um, kind of what's going on in your head shouldn't really impact on what you eat. Now in reality um, a lot of us uh, don't uh, don't play by that rule. So um, when you're happy, you might go out and celebrate and eat a big meal or um, have some alcohol or things like that. Um, when you're sad, you might do exactly the same. You might reach for the sugar and things. And that's because sugar and sugar and fats and things like that um, make us feel better. They just, even just short term, they make us feel better. So if you're feeling in a negative mindset or something bad has happened, then it's going to make you feel better. And if you are in, feeling good and something good has happened, then it's going to help you to feel even better um, having those foods. Um, but the key thing to think about is, um, like I said, is it the right fuels for your body? So going back to, like I said last week, think, focusing on your goals, is that what you want to eat? Do you think that is the best thing for you to be consuming? Um, if it doesn't fit with your goal, if it's not going to help you achieve your goal, then pick something else, you have that choice, you can make that decision, you've just got to make those habits, so, um, or break some other habits. And the other thing is, if um, you are emotional eating, or you're eating when you're stressed, or when you're tired, you're reaching for the wrong foods, um, things like that, then you've got to understand that trigger and the fact if you already recognize that that's what you're doing then you're halfway there so recognize the trigger if it's that you are getting stressed at work then ideally you'd want to do something about the thing that's making you stressed at work or whatever it is um, but if you can't quite just deal with that right now or it's a bit of a longer term thing um, the issue that at hand then the the other things you can be doing is if you're reaching for, um, I don't know, chocolate bars or something when you come in the house, if you get back from late, um, from work late and you're reaching for a chocolate bar, then you need to eliminate the problem by removing the chocolate bars. Don't buy the chocolate bars. Don't have them in the house. Don't call at the shop on the way home to get any. You need to try and work backwards because if the chocolate bars are there and you are staring at them, you come home from work and you're staring at them in the cupboard and you're starving hungry because you, you're late back, you, you are making it harder for yourself by um, 
by not just eliminating the either the bigger issue or the um, the next one along of, of kind of thinking, well, I know I'm going to eat, end up eating those if they're there, so let's not buy them, let's not have them in the house. And then you, you're kind of helping yourself there, um, you're, you're less likely to eat them. If you, if you have them in the house, you're obviously going to be more likely to eat them because they're there. Um, so, yeah, just getting back on point. The emotional eating it is your choice um, still if you're eating because of whatever emotions um, or if you're not eating and then you're reaching for uh, the the kind of naughty foods as they say nothing no foods naughty but if you're reaching for the wrong kind of fuels um, later on because you've starved yourself because uh, you haven't eaten when you're hungry then you've still got that choice of later on of choosing the right foods and it always goes back to that goal always goes back to that mindset like making the right choices for your body making the right choices to achieve your goals how does it make you feel is it worth it then then working um along from that so um things you can do like i said don't have the foods in the house if you know you're going to um want them crave them when you get in don't buy the foods if someone else is buying them then make sure that they're out of the way out of sight or hidden somewhere um do yourself a favor and make it a little bit easier by not having them there that's what i'm saying um and just get focused on that goal and make sure that you are um keeping in a positive mindset if it's a, if it's something at work that's happening or um something that you are kind of not in full control of um then you're going to have to find some uh, some way of of trying to stay on that positive mindset um when the when it comes to food you're going to have to get back on that positive mindset get back focused on that goal um so that you're not making the wrong choices and i can't stress enough it sounds uh, like it um it sounds like i'm making it easy uh, trying to make it too simple and some simplifying it too much but it it 100 is down to you and the choices you make you can blame stresses and emotional eating and things going on in your life but at the end of the day you are choosing what you put in your body what fuel you consume um and at every step of the way up to that that the food or fuel going into your body you do have a choice to say no or to continue to eat it so you've just got to work on making those right choices um for yourself and and being prepared so i've talked about uh, making sure that the the food uh, that you don't want to consume isn't in the house but also think about if you um, know that you are coming home from late uh, coming home late from work then make sure you've got some quick dinner there ready to go that you've prepped it the day before or something or take a pack up with you or have some healthy snacks with you in the car so that you don't call off at the corner shop and get yourself something um, after work or whatever it is think of the triggers what it is that's causing you to eat the wrong food and then make sure that you've got an alternative so that you've got something to eat um, and making it easier for yourself. So not having the, the foods that you don't want to eat in the house or wherever you're eating them and then also having something else there so that you're not depriving yourself in, in general as well. Um, so yeah, I've cut, I've talked a lot. Hopefully that makes sense to to you, um, to everyone watching this that this is um, an issue for. Um, it is simple it's not necessarily easy that's the thing to stress you do have the choice it is within your control you do have to um take control yourself take back control um get focused on your goal get on that positive mindset making the right choices for your body and for your goals and i promise that will help and even if you just make um a few healthier changes and um if you were uh, like even if 50% of the time you're making better choices then your body will really appreciate that and you'll be 50% more likely to um, achieve your goals in the near future um, so yes hopefully that helps you talked a lot um, if you do have any more questions then please do email me and uh, get in touch and I will um, be able to answer those over the next few weeks so that you can achieve your goals before summer I'll be back next week